Uh, hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to do an edit in the style of Reynold Druin. So I've got my photograph open, he uses a lot of landscape pictures. And the first thing I notice is this bit in the corner here, so I don't want to use that. So I'm going to use a basic edit crop, which is this tool where you can press C on your keyboard and then click and drag the bit that I would like to keep. And it gets rid of that bit and when i'm happy with that you can press the tick button up here or you can just press enter on your keyboard so the crop makes my picture look a little bit better i actually don't want this bit either so i'm going to crop it again and just drag this over and now the tree is more of the focus and the sunset is a little bit more in the center so i'm just going to drag a little bit more and then i press enter and i'm happy with that okay so in Reynold Druin's um, edits, he takes a slice in a certain shape out of the middle of the picture um, and then flips it upside down. So we can use the shape tool to do that. And the shape tool is down here, custom shape tool, or you can press U on your keyboard. And if I click that, all of the shapes pop up at the top. I'm just gonna click on the arrow and I'm gonna click this little arrow again and click all and press okay. And that just means all of the available shapes will load into here. Now you can use any shape that you like. I'm going to go with a shape that's quite symmetrical and has quite a lot of detail in it, quite like this one. And when you've selected it, just click it and then you can click and drag and draw your shape. Now if I need to move it, press V on your keyboard which is your move tool here. I'm going to try and move it somewhere into the middle. I'd like to be able to get part of this color and part of the black in my um, edit. Now I've got the shape here. Now I need to go to paths on the right hand side next to your layers. So paths, and then right click, make selection. That needs to be set to zero and then press OK. And you can see the marching ants, these flashing white lines is the selection so it's selected that sh that shape so that means i don't actually need the shape anymore i just need the selection so i can click on the shape on layers and drag that down to the bin and i've still got my marching ants now if you want to move these you need to use a different tool and it's this one selection tool or you can press m on your keyboard so if you want to move that around i'll put that there just to see how it looks and then the next part's really simple. We're going to copy this selection from layer one. So control C and then control D. And you can see it's pasted it on a new layer, but because it's in exactly the same place, you can't see anything just yet. So if I use the other move tool, the top one, and I move that around, you'll start to see. Now, this layer, let's put it here so we can see, I need to flip it upside down. So we go to edit, transform. If you want to flip it across the horizon, you use horizontal. I want to do vertical. And then I put that there. You put it somewhere that you think looks most effective. Um, quite like it here. I think that looks quite good. Now, if your shape, you would like it to make it a little bit clearer you can use an effect. So FX is here. You need to be on that top layer, layer two. And I'm gonna put, um, I'll try outer glow just for now. Set the glow just to normal. And it's chosen this color yellow. I'm just gonna change that to white. You can choose any color that you think looks good. And I'm gonna use these tools. That looks a little bit too much. Maybe a tiny bit like that. So you can have a little play around with these settings. You can make it less opaque if it's too bright. And I think that looks okay for my first attempt. Okay.